there YouTubers, I am here to show you how to help you install mods on your Command and Conquer General Zero Hour. Alright, um, well this is mainly because a lot of times I've seen people comment on the mod saying they can't correctly install it, so I'm here to possibly help you out. Alright, so we're just going to look up some random mod. Um, Oh, look, Shockwave mod is already in here. So we're just going to search that up right now. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's my computer or what, or the website's broken down, but these two sites, they're not working for me. So I'm going to go to the third one. All right. And now, if it will load. Right, thank you. Yes. Um... Yes, you need to go to this site. You know, scroll all the way down to where it says download. You're gonna click on that big button. You're gonna click on the first one, the file front download mirror. Um, I'm pretty sure you can pick the other ones, but I don't know. I just picked this one. Um, all right, let's see now. I'm gonna hit. Download now. I'm very sorry about this. My computer is very slow when I run Camtasia Studios on it. But, um, yes, so it should automatically download uh, after it counts down. Um, let me just give it a second. Alright, so when you get to this, you're going to hit save a file. Just save it anywhere to your downloads desktop wherever since I already downloaded it I'm not going to alright now we can close that um, and close that too but you know whatever uh, oh another thing you're gonna have to download is gonna be called 7-zip or WinRAR and I'll leave a link to 7-zip in the description so you can do that um, yeah, so you're going to want to locate the zip file that you just downloaded. Um, again, I'm sorry about this lag and everything, but, you know, stuff happens. Alright, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, yes, the SHW underscore 11. After you download WinBar or 7-zip, you're going to want to right-click on it. Extract all. Oh, wow, well, I feel very stupid. My bad, you do not even need 7-zip or Rinrar. I don't know why I said that. Um, yeah, just, just, you're just gonna have to right-click and extract all. And, um, okay, I'm gonna close this. Maybe that my computer run a little bit faster okay yeah my computer is messing up but either way you're going to want to extract it um it's gonna come up here you're gonna open it you're gonna you could read the readme or channel log but you don't have to you're going to double click on the SHW underscore 11, uh, run, close this, oh now it loaded, um, yes, so it's going to bring you to this page, or this image thing, oh my god, don't see why my computer is totally acting up but I'm gonna say yes and this is where a lot of people get thrown off um, it's mainly if you have command and conquer the first decade because a lot of people will go to what the hell is this anyways I'm sorry though mo a lot of them will go to the EA games then the command and conquer general zero hour do not do that. You have to go to the first decade 
open that folder and inside there there will be another folder called the command and conquer uh, in parentheses tm general zero hour and that is where you're going to want to install it and I'll hit next start and well here we go uh, I'll get back to you when it's finished installing alright see you later alright and now it has finished installing so I guess we can go ahead and start it up so yeah I don't know I don't know if you guys can see my mouse but right now my computer is not letting me see it so uh, forgive me for taking a while to press start <laughs> um, it should be loading now alright there we go um hey oof I think I may have pressed it like too many times that's not good I don't know yeah so uh, it will load to this screen it's gonna say command and conquer generals shockwave instead of zero hour because you know what it's not zero hour it's now shockwave and it's amazing um yeah I'll get back to you when it loads and everything alright uh... see you in a bit alright back back I'm back and uh... you gotta see this epic intro thing which fortunately looks better regularly but since I'm running the Camstasia or Camtasia Studios audio what the, what the heck am I talking about screen recorder Jesus uh, it's just not loading very well um alright so yes it's loading slowly but surely it is loading very slow indeed very very slow very 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 slowly it's and now it's done thank god anyways alright now even though it's done loading it still has to load for some reason alright here we go here we go oh my god it's command and conquer general shockwave version 1.1 anyways alright so you're gonna wanna yeah you know, like move your mouse a little bit to have this thing come up and like I said I'm very extremely sorry the game is not this laggy, it's just my computer because I'm running the Camtasia Studios as said before. Um, yeah, this is just terrible. Alright, uh, one thing, there's one thing I really do not like about the mod though. It takes away the campaign. Like the USA campaign is replaced by the USA minigame and so on and the USA one you're Colonel Burton and you have to destroy like a Microsoft building which I mean I guess it's kinda cool but I really wish that they kept the original campaign on there the GLA um, mm, I can't quite remember what you have to do in the GLA but in the China you have to be a dragon tank and you have to destroy all these trees in a forest or whatever. That's really weird. Um, yeah, and unlike a lot of mods, or unlike most mods, I should say, it uh in the challenge mode, it will actually put in all the generals, including the newer generals that you um got in the shockwave mod um 
yeah, I would play a game for you guys to show you, but this is just this is just terrible. Just terrible. My computer just god. Anyway, so once it loads, um Yes, so it's uh they added a lot of new units to e like a lot of new units and buildings to every faction and they also added three new generals. The first one, the USA Armor General, he um well, he pretty much explains himself. He has some pretty pretty awesome defensive like um defensive structures. He's really good. He's he's pretty cool. Uh the other one is the GLA scavenge or s s I don't know. Scavenge general, I guess. Um his name is General Momar Deathstrike. But I'm pretty sure the generals facing him wouldn't call him that. Like, hey, hey General Momar Deathstrike. I don't know. Um he's pretty cool. He's got some as his name suggests he really utilizes scavenged uh parts. Like he has instead of the black market he has a scrapyard and um you build upgrades from there and you can eventually buy like scrap. You know how when the vehicle is destroyed there's scrap left behind? You can buy that for three hundred dollars and he'll it'll like it'll produce it and drop like shoot it out. And you'll either like if you grab it but you're already fully upgraded you'll get your three hundred dollars back or it'll just upgrade so that's really cool I like him a lot and his his version of the stinger site is way better it's got it's got the original three stinger people and it's also got this artillery thing in there which kills infantry a lot easier so that one's really good um, I'm not gonna go over any of the other people except for maybe uh, the new general, uh, Chinese super weapon junior general, and um, I don't know. I mean, she's pretty cool, but I like her in the other mods where she has like all three, all three of the faction super weapons. But in this one, she has a super weapon called like Tower of Gaia or Gaia. I don't know how it's pronounced, and um, it'll shoot like this little bomb I guess it'll go into the floor and shake everything and destroy a lot of stuff I mean it's pretty cool uh, she's got some a lot of, like a lot of new buildings yeah uh, yes yeah, so she's really good too um alright well since my computer is such laggy that's really all I can show you right now and um I hope this has helped you and I I know it's a little bit late but I wish you good gaming and modding or mod installing I should say um yeah so I guess I will see you guys later in another video probably about Minecraft alright bye